What up, it's your boy Trey Little, rapper, vlogger, entrepreneur, influencer, TikToker from Detroit, Michigan. And I'm about to do a quick review of Kanye West's album, Jesus is King. So right after this intro, we're going to get right into it. Make sure you subscribe right now and like this video. Let's get it. Mama had me when she was only 15. Daddy got killed when I was only four. Grew up in the hood, had to get it out the mud. Had to pick up the sack, I ain't want to be broke. All my homeboys either dead in jail. Looking back, I had to go hard, I ain't want to fail. Now I'm on a plane. Yo, what's good? So I heard this album and it was fire. Like for real, um, it was amazing. You know what I mean? Like first I want to say, I don't really listen to gospel music because I didn't grow up in the church and listening to gospel music. But this album brought a lot of elements that I really feel like I liked it and respected. I've heard like Ty Tribute uh, do like a uh, song um, called Work It Out. And it was like a worship gospel trap song that I really like, but you rarely hear that. You usually hear just choirs and all that, but I feel like he had a really good blend of trap and choirs and stuff like that. And then he had like just one of those ignorant, just ugh, Kanye songs. And I really like that as well because that's like what I like from Kanye. Also, the fact that he brought the clips back was amazing, man. For me, like I was tripping when I heard that one. I didn't even expect it because it wasn't in the titles. And I don't think he marketed it. So when when I heard Pusha T come in and then I heard No Malice come in, I was like, yo. And this is crazy because um, I used to navigate the Christian music scene pretty hard. And then I feel like with No Malice, he was just low key, wasn't getting as much. Uh, it's almost like when rappers turn, you know, Christian and then they stop doing mainstream music and start doing Christian music. They kind of dwindle down and you don't really hear from them as much. But No Malice came back hard. I think this is going to be big for his career. Everyone has been waiting on Eclipse to get back together. So just off that fact alone, I think that's um, amazing. Also, man, like, yeah, I like it. Like, I overall think it's good. Another thought was, like, when he said Christians are going to say, how are you going to do a Christian album? And he said he wanted to be accepted, basically, by Christians. But they were kind of judging him, saying, no, you belong in the darkness. You don't belong. You don't deserve forgiveness. You don't deserve love. And that hit home to me because... I've been in that situation and this is why myself have decided uh, when I after I started my spiritual journey to go beyond just Christian music and just doing music with Christian artists and rapping to churches, you know, like I, I still would do that stuff like rap at a church. But it just showed me that like, man, like I just don't really feel like I agree with with how they're treating Kanye or just saying people belong in the dark and all that kind of stuff. So it, it, it hit home for me. And also, man, I think this project overall is just like, it's fire, man. It's very therapeutic. You can ride to it in a car. The samples on it was crazy. Um, and it just, I heard some snippets of some, something similar when I went to his Sunday service when Kim Kardashian and Kanye came to Detroit. That was like a couple snippets of me hearing some of the music. And it was pretty dope. So, um, I mean, that's kind of all I really got to say about this one. It's pretty short. The, another thing I feel like, is he's going to be a really good example for his followers who who really are just wanting to open up to a spiritual journey. But it's not as cool. I've been discriminated against literally just because people know I'm a Christian and I don't make Bible rap. Like I make music about life, being from the street, being from the hood. But people have intentionally discriminated against me off the fact that I don't cuss and because... You know what I mean? I don't, I'm not ignorant. You know what I mean? So like the fact that he's doing this is going to open up doors for artists who just want to make good music, regardless of their, you know, their color, creed, race, gender, religion, and all that. So um, I think he's doing a good thing and I support it. I think um, a lot of Christians and pastors and Christian artists are going to try to work with him. The same artist who was demonizing him, I think they're going to try to work. So my prayers for like Kanye and Chance are that they just get around some good people, even people like Bieber. Because uh, to be honest, I've I've navigated the Christian music industry pretty hard in the past, and it, it can be brutal. It can be about the numbers, about the fame. It can be about the money. And if you ain't got all that, then they don't want to rock with you. But when you blow up, they want to rock with you. I've seen that with NF. So my prayer is for Kanye to get around some good people and to be, you know what I mean, uh, in good hands to where he won't be manipulated by like churches and pastors to use him for his clout and all that. But let me know what y'all think. Enough about me. I'll be in the comment sections talking about everything. And make sure you follow me on social media. Uh, I'll be at 100K on TikTok probably by tonight. And Instagram as well, Trey Little. And look at my music everywhere online. Thank y'all so much. Let me know what y'all think. And let's talk about it in the comments. And peace.